retrain the brain, release your stress, and discover inner peace and happiness. This is the program based on Eastern wisdom. Where is Eastern wisdom? <coughs> 6,000 years old. Supported by 3,000 teachers and text. But what it is? All meditation and mindfulness practices are part of the Eastern wisdom. We were just talking now. Is one person is happy and the other person said no. So the, it teaches you, the Eastern wisdom teaches us the discovery of the subjective reality. Who am I? My true nature. And if we are aware of our true nature, the Eastern wisdom says it is full of peace and happiness, love and the wisdom. What the science does, science discovers the objective reality. What is objective reality? <clears throat> I was just talking to the doctor. Science will tell you how much stress you have and how less stress you have. Eastern wisdom discovers how much peace you have. Are you really in peace and happiness? That's the biggest difference. <clears throat> Choice is yours. Which direction you take? You want to manage your stress, it minimizes, but you are not free from it. And that has been heavily conditioned in our mind. You know, I was listening to Liz was saying, ah, oh, this is a stressful word. <laughs> Where is the stressful word? At workplace, with people, with at your home? No, I should not say that. That becomes personal privacy. But anyhow, you all know it. I need not to say anything. You see? The so we have to change the outlook towards the life. If you say, uh, I was listening yesterday, uh, no, I was reading yesterday one uh, psychologist from New Zealand. She claimed that she has customized the practices, pay attention to it, and from there I'll take up the principle. I have customized the practices for people who are extremely busy and have no time. If you have no time, you are not aware of yourself, you cannot do any mindfulness practice. Leave it. Don't work on it. If you don't have time for your own self. No, no, I'm extremely, what you, where you are busy, and that busyness is causing you this stress. Do you agree with me? So when you say you don't have time, you don't have time for yourself. Eastern wisdom, I told you, is the discovery of the subjective reality. So I'll pick up the two verses. They are the zip <coughs> files from the text written about 3,000 years ago. Let me read it, and after that I'll explain. Based on that, we will do the practice. Chitta has two causes. One is known as desire and other is known as prana. If one of them is controlled, then both are controlled. And when both are controlled, we awaken to the peace and happiness. This is the zip file. Let us unzip it. Chitta. Chitta is the mind stuff. What is mind stuff? All of our impressions that we have accumulated over years in our relationship, in craving, in desires, in sensual pleasure, all our accumulated impressions. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the second thing. You said Chitta is the mind step, all our accumulated impressions, 
No, you said desire and the second one. Desire and the prana. 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 Energy. Okay. Energy. You see this? So this is, so mind stuff is that. So what those accumulated impressions causes, what causes? It shapes my attitude, my personality. The moment you say, okay, home, honey, no, no. So your expression tells the accumulated impressions. Keep a smile, you know. I, I'm not going to your home. <laughs> Lisa, okay? <laughs> you said okay? Yeah, because he came. Thank you. <laughs> So accumulated impression shapes my, my attitude. My attitude towards life, my attitude towards others, and my attitude towards work shapes my day-to-day -day living. From there came one expression that I was listening outside. See that? So now it says causes, what it causes the desire. Because of those accumulated impressions, it causes <coughs> the desires that is not required, that is not wanted. Why don't you change? If you change, then I will change. Is there a contract? So where lies the problem? Those desires related to people possessions in your own body, your own mind, causes the stress and anxiety based on the Eastern wisdom. Second is the energy. That is a new beautiful concept in Eastern wisdom. You cannot find it in modern psychology or modern science. <clears throat> this energy continuously moves in the spine, symbolically, I'm talking. So if you take it physically, the problem comes. I don't believe in any kind of mysticism. Everything can be explained and you can do the practice. So this energy symbolically, I'm explaining, moves up and down. Symbolically, the bottom, the bottom of the spine represents your unconscious material that causes you the stress. And the top represents your highest consciousness, your true nature. Who moves it? Mind stuff. So mind moves, oh, this thing is very good. I must have it. Desire. Prana is moving down, but I don't have enough. In both the cases, the problem comes. Pay attention to it, and then th this is the program based on this, these principles. I don't have, so what happens to you? I don't have enough money to buy this thing. What happens to you? Prana is already down. Mind is already down. <coughs> Anger anxiety, frustration, right? Am I right? I have a lot of money, I buy it. It gives me pleasure. I want to repeat the pleasure. The pleasure is short-lived. You buy a new car, after a week, mind is free from that, pleasure is gone. You buy the best or you buy the lowest or used. The pleasure is gone. So science also says the repeated pleasure minimizes the experience of the pleasure. If you are eating the same food again and again, what is going Don't apply it to honey. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Irina? I eat the same food every day and I like it. <laughs> you are a wonderful person, I know. 
So you see that repeated pleasure. So that pleasure creates another impression. Now what the Eastern wisdom says. The principle of the Eastern wisdom says the happiness lies within you. Eat whatever you want to eat. Live with the person you want to. But, but, live with the peace that manifests from inside. Don't ask peace from anybody else or any position. That is the message the master gave. That's why I don't teach that I claim that I know. I don't know anything. I teach based on these teachings of the great masters who carried out the 6,000 years old tradition. One more minute and then we'll stop. So now uh, how do you conclude what needs to be done? Can I release the energy that is clogged in my unconscious material that shapes my attitude, my life, my personality, my work? See the point? Do you see that? That if I release that energy, but another thing, if I release the energy, there is another principle associated with, that is written in the other text, unless you read, Unless you understand these text teachings of these masters uh, from a tradition, you won't get it. So that principle is not written here. And uh, from there, what the principle? It says, Chale vate chalam chittam nishchale nishchalam bhavet. I like to recite, you know. It keeps my memory fresh. It says, if you redirect this energy from bottom to the top, the mind also starts flying high. It rises into the higher state of the consciousness and you are able to discover peace and happiness. So either you control, either you redirect the mind, that was, that is the program that I gave to you guys yesterday. So there we focus only on the mind. Let the mind change the direction from outside to inside. Here, we combine the two. What is that combination? We release the energy from the unconscious material, that mud, that impurities. And after that, we ask the mind and the energy to continue to rise in consciousness. So what people have understood? That everything lies in the spine. Huh? Yeah, you ask me. Uh, last week that question, the third eye. Third eye is symbolic of awakening to the wisdom where the mind keeps its awareness on the inner peace and happiness. Science has proved it. You open everything, all the new, you'll find the neurons. You don't find the third eye. <coughs> So if you are carried away by those concepts in a negative way, this is what this teacher says. So let us start. What we will do, first step, we will move our mind inside. Second step, three parts, we will release the energy from the unconsciousness. After that, based on the response, I'm continuously observing you guys. When I see that you are, your mind is showing the discomfort, I'll customize the next three steps. Sit or lie down. Close your eyes. Get ready. Get ready for the journey to retrain your brain, release your stress and Discover inner peace and happiness. First thing first, eyes are closed gently. Your hands are on your mat facing the ceiling comfortably. And leave everything loose. Even you see that? I don't go for, uh, I know that many of you are really mesmerized, but oh, if I do the Gyan Mudra, the hand gestures, this will happen, that will happen. No. That happens at a much later stage. Uh, don't create any kind of a fuss in the bedroom. 
Look at the neck joint. Feel comfortable. Shoulder joints. Make yourself comfortable. Knee joints, ankle joints, and you are comfortable. When you are comfortable, what happens? We are using the conscious mind. Conscious mind brings an experience of the sensation. And the next moment the sensations are new. Are you aware of those sensations? So that is why I say being comfortable is being aware of the sensation in the body and done. That brings the normally steadiness in the body without the interference of the chitta, the mind stuff. You see the point. And if it brings, if you move, I also catch, you also know, and there the program changes. Second point in the first step is being carefree. You moved inside this studio. Are you still worried about the car that is parked outside, the street, the people, the stores? No. So easy. It is not, you cannot say it is easy. You did it by default. Why you did it by default? You did it because your mind declared that they do not belong to you. Can you do the same thing to all the thoughts, feelings, sensations that moves into your mind at this time? What you have to do, do nothing. Look at the thought and internally, don't intellectually repeat it. If you repeat it, it will become an intellectual exercise. You did not do that. When you moved inside the studio, you did not think and repeat, oh, car, other cars do, do not belong to me, people do not belong to me, the store. No, you have never said this. Find out how you did it. Same thing applies here. That is why it is required that you need to be attending the session regularly for your benefit. You understand that part. And if you have severe problem, then the personal intervention is required. Third point, being casual, being natural. <clears throat> what is natural? Pick up one principle. Become aware the mind is not doing anything. And even if it is doing anything, you are not part of it. Are you part of the breathing at this moment? No, it is happening. Every cell is doing its duty. Are you a part of it? No. Why well, you are a part of your mind that makes you crazy, that asks you, oh no, let me, let me move the body. I'm not comfortable. You see that? All the crazy stuff? I gave you a hint of that. So that is a happy, steady, and relaxed state. First step is done. This is what I call the mini mindfulness, based on the principles of the Eastern wisdom. That's why I don't use paying attention judgmentally and non-judgmentally. That doesn't align with the principles clearly. Yeah, it helps. Now coming to release of energy, along with the mind. Many principles, so again many newcomers come, but every program is as effective as you think of. So look inside, look inside the chest, the center of the chest, and start breathing quick and fast from the chest. You inhale, the chest expands. You inhale, the chest contracts. The chest movement should be there. OK. 
Continue. Do not stop in the middle. Continue. Only the chest breathing. Are you aware? So I engage the mind. Are you breathing from the chest? I engage your energy. You see the pun? And stop it. Experience the state. Don't get worried. Don't get concerned. You simply, you were breathing. You do the jogging. You go to the gym. And here, the challenge goes to you with awareness and attention. You are not moving the body. Body is steady. Mind is aware. And then you are breathing. So you have new sensations. So we have to learn from our own experiences. Look at the head and the neck. Feel the sensation, relaxation and stillness. Look at both the arms. Look. Both the arms experience the sensation, relaxation and the stillness. Look at both the legs. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. The entire body. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Just be there. You see that? You did one step and again you moved into the state of mindfulness. So I'm not asking you to pay attention or focus or make an effort. Just be there. Look inside the belly and start breathing long in the hissing breath from the belly. You inhale, belly goes up. You exhale, the belly goes in long and hissing in the fast breath. Only through the belly, not through the chest. I'll explain you in following session why it is so. Continue long in the hissing breath. The belly goes in when the breath out, the belly returns when. Continue, my friends. Continue, my friends. And stop it. Look again, both the legs. From the toes to the waist, be there. Am I asking you to do something now? No. I'm just asking you, please look at your legs. Looking raises your awareness of the legs. I need not to pay attention. Attention is natural. And then I experience the sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. Both the arms. Sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. The entire body, sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Please understand, Eastern wisdom is purely a positive psychology. It asks the question, am I a seeker of peace and happiness? You say yes pure peace and happiness. And if your yes is associated with a lot of worries and concerns related to your physical, mental, and emotional pain, then you have to start the journey from managing your pain first. So that is why everyone has different experiences 
It doesn't mean that you cannot do the practice, but it needs a very highly personalized practices. Now the third one, focus inside the forehead and start breathing long and the hissing breath. Engage belly and the chest both. Very long, deep and the hissing breath. Very long, deep in the hissing breath. Very long, deep in the hissing breath. If you are doing the shorter breath, you are doing the first breathing. You see that that is what I also notice. Continue long, deep in the hissing breath. And stop it. Head in the neck. Sensation and relaxation in the stillness. Now the sensation deepens. What I'm doing, simply observe, watch, experience. Why? Every teacher, including Buddha, inspires. You have to learn from your own experiences. In this and now you can ex easily experience the state of sensation, relaxation, and stillness. If it is easy for you, you are already on a right path. Look at both the arms. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Both the legs. Sensation, relaxation, and the stillness, the entire body. Today I'll pick up that I guided you almost two years back. Take a deep breath into the belly, into the chest, up to the neck, and while breathing out, make the humming sound louder, deeper, and longer. Continue. It should be rhythmic, you empty your lungs completely, moving your belly down and the ribs down. louder, deeper and longer.
continue the journey. Stop the humming sound, continue breathing gently, deep, silent and slow, without making any noise. What it means? You breathe so deep and slow that even you cannot hear the noise of your own breath. There is a simple condition associated with the breath. Mm -hmm. When you inhale, the belly goes up, then the ribs. When you exhale, belly drops down and then the ribs. That is the key. One more point of awareness. You see that we are redirecting the mind now with a change of the prana through the breath. So we are asking the mind, the moment the breath goes in, move the mind from the top of the head down to the tailbone. When the breath comes out, move the mind from the tailbone to the top of the head. Do you need to imagine anything? No. Do you need to focus on any color? No. Do you need to focus on any chakra? No. Why? If there is a chakra, it will be revealed to you. Why to create a conditioning in the mind that there is a chakra inside and let me focus there. So that is the work starts with the belief. We are not starting with any kind of a belief. You are in the state of what? sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Your mind is within. You are experiencing the calmness. In that state, the mind is moving with the breath, top of the head going down inside the head, reaches to the neck bone, then reaches to the tailbone as you inhale. When you exhale, Without making any noise, your mind moves from the tailbone to the top of the head. Mentally, when the breath goes in, add more things. You see that we are engaging the mind. Why? To leave it what does, what does not belong to you, all the accumulated impressions. Find the fresh air deep inside. So what we are doing, look at it. Breath is going in, the mind starts moving from the top of the head to the tailbone. Mentally sing without making any noise. And that arm ends at the tailbone. The breath returns, it, again you begin. Reaches to the top of the head. Three-pointed awareness. First point, breath is deep and silent. Second point, no noise of the breath. No noise. It, it has to be mental. At the physical level, there is nothing like peace. Peace must come from inside. And the third point is mental singing is the aim where the mind is moving and it is long because the breath is long.
it needs a recalibration every time that you do the practice. Why? Our mind changes every time. Now the breath, mind and the arm become little sharp. So when the breath goes and moves the mind from the top of the head until the belly button, saying mentally, little shorter, um, uh, mentally, um, when the breath comes out. What is your goal? Synergy of the movement of the breath, arm, and the mind. That's all. Nothing else. Can I explain in a different way? The breath is the highway. Mind is the car you are driving. Om is your friend sitting inside. And if that happens, there is a synergy. You are there. But if you are making an effort, it's okay. You may fall into deep sleep, it is okay. That is what I felt. Now, continue the journey. What is happening? The breath is shorter. It starts from the top of the head, reaches only to the belly button. Your mind is going with it and saying, singing. Um, it is shorter. Previous was? Um, this one? Um, You are tapping. One of the wonderful, most wonderful quality of the mind. You're not holding the breath. You're not controlling it. And now leave the breath as it is. Let it flow naturally. The moment the breath flows, it will continue to again look at the top of the head and the moment the breath ends, look inside the heart and just drop OM. Breath comes out from the heart to the top of the head OM. 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 Without making any, at this time the effort is not there. No change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Our these masters teaches us that the highest prana, the highest energy, means where the mind has less impact of accumulated impressions is located inside the heart. What we are asking, you know it, that we already discussed. It is okay, even if one is snoring, that makes you aware what you are doing, you are there. Let everything happen outside. You are on your own, you are with yourself. 
You cannot share peace to anybody that lies within you. You can express it. Whether the person is motivated or not, I'm doing nothing. Remain as you are. Again, we reached where? Doing nothing. This time we are fully aware we are different from the mind, separate from it, and the experience is different. You're learning from your own experiences. Your experiences tells you that you can reach to that state. Why potential is present in all of us. Retraining the brain, releasing the stress and discovering our peace and happiness is a program based on the teachings of at least five different masters who lived much before Buddha. We understand who Shanti Shanti Shanti. on the right hand, bring your mind on the right hand and feel the experience, the change, your mind on the left hand, experience the change, lift your both the palms, place it in your eyes, open the eyes inside, sit up and let's share your experiences to help you progress. To know what were the helpers, what were the aids, and I told you, you can send me minimum, maximum three challenges that you have been facing that will help me to customize this program to maximize the benefit. Choice is yours, not mine. Miriam, how are you? Oh, very peaceful. Very peaceful? Yes. Very good. Huh? Very calm. Very calm? Yes. Live in calm. <laughs> From today, Sometimes people say, you know, you see that you are calm, then why uh, your honey is complaining, why others are complaining? Because they are not calm. <laughs> so, you, you have to understand, how are you living? My chest is very tight. Okay. And it's tough, it's tough, like it's hard to find that in stuff. Yeah, yeah. But at the end, do you, do you find relaxation? Mm -hmm. You get asleep? Not asleep. Not asleep. Yes, that is what I have been talking about. It. You see that there are three layers. Pick up, you know, it's, it's, a, it's so much of learning from these texts. Manage your pain. You live, you're living at that level. Second is well-being. Third is discovery of inner peace and happiness. Eastern wisdom starts from the question, who am I? Then it says, the answer comes, peace is my essential nature. Then the question comes, can I discover peace and happiness? 
from there it starts. So it means if I'm having lot of challenges in my life, I'm living at the top level. So there comes, there comes it. So we have to resolve those challenges. It doesn't mean this program doesn't help, it is going to help. But then we need to, <coughs> how are you? There is what I, I felt like at the same time, heat when you are sleeping, and it felt a chill. Chill, chill. Chill and heat are wonderful experiences that in the case suggest we are progressing into it. How are you? Good. Yeah, good? We both are good. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Um, I feel fine. I feel very good. My arms feel very heavy. Yes. Uh, I didn't talk today, but understand that in, every, in any meditation, we have a very clear understanding coming from the Eastern wisdom, not from the science. Variety of experiences, the vision of colors, vision of feeling of heaviness, lightness, hot, chill, and likewise there are hundreds of experiences. So they come and go. So let them come and go. And uh, it's a sign of the progress. How are you, Irina? I'm good. Good? Yeah. Ah, good? You see that you, you talked about that you eat the same food. <laughs> I, there is a point of awareness. What is that awareness? Am I craving? Am I eating food for pleasure or eating food to survive? That makes the vital difference. So there the Eastern wisdom says, no, you have not to leave anything and everything. You have to leave the mind that is crazy. Associating it with any food, any person. Huh? When there is any person, we will not talk, you know, in a public, yes. How are you? <laughs> Good. Good? I felt uh, very lightheaded when you were doing the breathing, and it made me a little nervous, and then it kind of went away. Yes, yes. Simple logical understanding with a disclaimer. You're not going to the gym. You're not doing any kind of breathing. You're not jogging. The science says that your brain gets little oxygen and over it you are stressed. Now on, on a given day suddenly you start breathing. So the oxygen concentration goes up. But it does not mean that it harms you, provided you also tell me. So it, it, is ha it happens. But if you are doing it regularly, it changes. There's a lot of to it in the scientific studies, but also then, but that I'll take up later. <laughs> How are you then? Why are you laughing? I'm, I feel good. I just got so cold, I, I have to cover myself. Ah, so understand. Those who are feeling cold, it's better to bring some, some blanket and cover yourself in the beginning. It happens. These are the new experiences. Sign of progress. How are you, friend? I'm okay. I'm okay. I had some temperature changes and a little bit lightheadedness too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. C continue. Don't worry. It settles down. It settles down. But okay, yes. I'm also okay. We will work together. Yes. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Evening. It's okay. You fall. Don't. I, I didn't, but I could have. <laughs> don't try to fight with the sleep also. Uh, sleep uh, in uh, one of. No, I'll talk later. You know, this, <laughs> my head is full, you know, so it becomes, you know. Uh, how are you saying it? <laughs> Wonderful. That's really wonderful. It is because of your regularity. It is because of your regular practice. I will, I will ask, how are you? Very good. How are you? Every sensation. Huh? Every sensation. Tingling, hot, cold, swirling, gold, and purple. And oh. I actually fell asleep. 
I, yeah, mom, yeah. Now I feel totally energized and wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> Best sleep I had. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's why I put you in the in the top of it. So that is all for today. Thank you, good. Thank you, everyone. We will meet again for the next class.